Hey, how y'all doing? It's Sharonda and hey, how y'all doing? And today I am here to discuss ARCs because y'all, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I requested way too many. So let's get into this thing, shall we? Okay, y'all. So I don't even know um, how the heck I got here. No, no, that's not true. I know how I got here. I was over requesting. So here's the thing. I'm part of the Berkeley Influencer Program, right? So that's one. Um, and then I'm always on NetGalley um, book surfing. That's two. But mainly, um, that's two. And then I also get like rant emails from publishers because I'm always on NetGalley on book surfing. I get emails from publishers as well as well saying hey you read this you might be interested in reading this you know what i'm saying and my old happy ass be like yeah sure why not you know what i'm saying so yeah i done over uh over requested some books and child now we're here now we are here which is crazy because i have gotten so much better at like um requesting books right and then i had made this deal with myself at the beginning of the year i said I, you know if i do go on that galley or if i do get these email requests you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna like focus you know what i'm saying on what i'm really and really interested in and request it but also i'm gonna get rid of what i already have inside of my goddamn candle you know inside of my candle library <laughs> now the first part is working i am requesting actual books that i am interested in reading i have gotten way better at that right but um yeah getting these books out of here that i said i was gonna get up out of here mm -mm, mm -mm. and i have done a very good job of um you know Culling my digital libraries as well as my physical libraries as well because I did have a bad habit of just buying books, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a cover whore, cover whore, okay? I see covers and I'm like, oh, that's very pretty. I'm gonna get that book, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't even read the blurb, I'll just buy the book, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, but I have, have gotten um better, um, at just like not randomly just buying books or whatever because it was bad like when i was doing like written book blogs and stuff oh my god it's, especially if an author had like a 99 um cent book sale oh it was over for me y'all it was over for me but like i said i've gotten way better at it and you know they don't really a lot of authors really don't do that uh 99 99 book sale as much anymore you know what i mean um even though we do have some sales on some books. Um, I had just bought a book that was on sale, but I enjoy that author's work and I'm really, in, you know, I wanted to read another book by her and it was a perfect opportunity too. Um, but yeah, so, you know, but what a lot of people are re requ uh, replacing those with now are with these Kindle stuffings, right? Where you have like these yearly things that go on or semi-yearly things that go on. Well, you know, all these authors come in and on a certain day, you know, all these books are available for free. And I stopped doing that too, because I was just like, I won't speak to any other reader's experience, but for me, um, and what was going on with me, I was taking part of these, you know, stuffings along with these 99 cent book deals and stuff like that. And I was finding out that I was getting all these books and they were sitting for months, if not years, you know what I'm saying? And then I would have to go back and delete all this stuff out of my digital libraries because I wasn't reading the books. Whereas, may, you know, I, I, I had a curious interest in the books when these deals and these, and, this, and these stuffings were going on, but because the books were sitting so damn long, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I stopped doing those too um and i have gotten real good at like keeping my own um, digital libraries at a limit that that is respectful for myself you know what i'm saying well i won't get caught up the girl guys people i done got caught up and now i am 19 arcs deep and honestly it was more than that it was way more than that 
but I have, I was able to get this, you know, cold this list, get this, cut this list down to the 19 books. And it's only 19 now because the other bad habit I have doing when I go on that net galley is requesting these books, tending, cause life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> tending to forget that I requested these books. And then I'm getting these emails like, hey girl, you approved. And I'm just like, wait, approved for what? What did I, then I always say to myself, what the hell did I request now? Then I, then I go and look at the email and I'm like, oh, Shit, I forgot I requested that book. Another bad habit. But anyway, what I'm going to do is tell you guys the list of books that I have. Mm -mm -mm. And what I'm going to do is just give you a very brief description of what the book is about. And that will just read in like, you know, maybe like the first sentence of the blurb. And you can get the general idea, okay? So, yeah. Um, first book is going to be Jewel Me Twice by Cherish Reed. This is through Harlequin Trap Publishing. This is romance and it's also under mystery thriller. And basically with this story, because I started reading it, um, it is where um, these two jewel thieves have to come back again. Um, there's one last moment by the request of their dead mentor for them to do a, you know, a last job together. They ain't working no more together. But in your way, let's get into this blurb. He was her partner, both in crime and between the sheets. Between the sheets. Um, and <laughs> it's been five years since uh, since professional thief Celeste St. Pierre laid eyes on Magnus Larson. This is also an interracial romance. Just wanted to put that in there. Um, these days, uh, she runs a Manhattan antique store, but her talent for stealing beautiful, shiny things hasn't faded. And as a chance reunion, and, and as a chance reunion, um, over a locked safe cruise, neither has the neither has the heat between her and the gorgeous ice cool Magnus. So, I've read Cherish Reed before. Uh, I like her writing. I do feel like sometimes her books are a little bit slow to get into. The pacing kills me sometimes. But I was very much interested in this book, and we. I'm, I'm still debating on how I'm feeling about the story that is going on between Celeste and uh, Magnus here. Cause right now they both working my nerves. I'm like, y'all gonna have to hurry up and get this shit together. Cause what, what are we doing? Let, let's get to let's get to the crime and let's get to the, the juicy parts, okay? But any other way, um, next book is The Last We Met by Anna E. Walgren. This is through Crooked Line Books. This is also a mystery thriller. So I, now you guys have been on my page um, and you know, for the most part, I read and talk about a whole lot of romance books and mainly um, black romance books. But I'm trying to get back into my, you know, reading like different sub genres and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, just sticking to one genre, um, a lot of the times can get you into, you know, just, it, it could burn you out, basically. So, I mean, even if you're reading like the different subgenres up under the main genre, um, you can get burned out. And I find that I was getting along those lines while I was uh, reading all these romance books. So I started dipping into different subgenre of romance books. I started dipping back into paranormal uh, romance suspense, and that is helping me out a whole lot because those contemporary romance books were tiring me the fuck out but anyway um let's get to the brief uh description and blurb of the last we met but what drew me to this one was the cover because i was like now nah, her with the knife behind her back what's she about to do lord what's she about to do but girl so anyway it says old friends old grudges one evening back together the last time they all had dinner someone wound up dead what could go wrong a whole lot with that lady with the knife behind her back a whole lot so i was like oh okay and that was like when i saw it on net galley and my it my interest was just like it was beyond peaked and i was just like oh this is perfect and if you go through my channel i do have i have read books outside of romance but then i tend to get back into that rut of reading only romance again and then I get burned out and then I don't read anything and it jacks up my reading streak like with my good read challenge y'all I am like 13 books behind and I'm like I gotta do something so let me read <laughs> let 
let me get back into reading some other genres because I'm it's about to be over for me if I don't. I'm, I'm gonna be like 13 books for the year. Shit, we in what? We, we're in we're in May now, about to go into June. I gotta get it together. Anyway, the next book is The Dead Cat Tail Assassins by P. P. Dingelli Clark. This is through Tor Publishing Group. Um, I actually received a request uh, from the publisher. And I was like, yeah, because I read P. P. Uh, this author before. And I was like, yeah, I'm into it. This is short story on um, sci-fi fantasy. Let's get into this blurb a little bit. Um, okay. Evine the Invisker. Invisker. Invest. Oh, Lord. Evine the... <laughs> Evine the Investigator is skilled, discreet, and professional. Wait. Evine the Investigator is skilled, discreet, professional, and here for your most pressing needs in the ancient city of Tal Abyssi. Her guild is strong, her blades are sharp, and her rules are simple. Those sworn to the mantra of assassins, restorated, deadly, wiped of their memories, uh, have only three unbreakable vows. I ain't gonna read the rest of the blurb for y'all because it's short and sweet, just like the book. And I was like, okay. Um, so it was a, it's a book about an assassin and that just drew me in. That just drew me in. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. Um, the next book is Innocent Intent by Casey Mills. Casey Mills is an indie author. This is her first trad uh, publishing uh, book. And I'm here to support, mainly. Um, but when I saw the cover, I was like, oh, I'm interested. I mean, let me see what's going on here. Um, this is under Romance Suspense. Also, uh, Mystery Thrillers. This is through Black Odyssey, Odyssey Media. Um, and let's get into this blurb a little bit. Cassidy Evans is the blueprint. As a criminal psychologist, Cassidy is a seven. She spent years solving groundbreaking cases by shifting the minds, shifting through the minds and behaviors of those driven by the darkness that controls them. After years of dedicated fieldwork, Cassidy decides to retire and share her expertise of killers and mentalities as a novelist. So, I love the cover. The cover is gorgeous. Um, I did read the blurb too, and I was that's not the full blurb, like I told y'all. The blurb is pretty interesting. And like I said, I'm here to support an indie author in her first traditionally published book. And I hope it's good. Okay. Um, next book is The Night Ends with Fire by KX Song. This is through Berkeley Publishing. Um, this is sci-fi fantasy with romance elements. Um, more than likely with romance elements because most of the books that I request through Berkeley are they got the romance going on in it but anyway let's <laughs> let's get into this blurb the three kingdoms are at war but Melanie's father refuses to answer the imperial draft trapped by his opium addiction he plans to sell Melanie I don't know if I'm saying that right the captain's name but if I'm saying it wrong I'm sorry uh, to sell Melanie for a dowry but when Melanie discovers her husband to be is just another violent, ill tempered man, I know that's right, girl. She realizes that nothing will change for her unless she takes matters into her own hands. So, uh, also, <coughs> before the blurb, you know, they give you like that brief description of what's going on with the book or whatever. This kind of like has like the whole Mulan um, theme going on with it, with the story. So, I was very much interested in that and I was just like, I'm here. I, I want to read it, and we are hoping it's good. The next book is The Design of Us by Sinjini Patel. This is also through Berkeley Publishing Group. This is women's fiction with romantic elements. And let's get into this brief uh, blurb. Sunshine, Sunshine Incarnate Bano brings big X, big UX energy to whatever she does, including going for the promotion where her only serious competition is her work nemesis. AKA Sunny, the grunt with the Denzel voice. Excuse me. Hmm, okay. Uh, she expects to get a reprieve from him while visiting her family in Hawaii, but the universe has other plans. When B Banu runs into Sunny at the hotel and witnesses his ex criticizing him about being single, Banu does the first thing that comes to mind. She. <laughs> 
basically she getting it all up in the business and um so this seems like it's going to be fake dating um and grumpy sunshine and i'm here for that i'm very much here for that and we got brown people y'all we got brown people okay <laughs> so let's get on to the next book which is primal mirror by nalali singh very popular author um this is also through berkeley publishing this is sci-fi fantasy romance and i think this is like an offshoot of her psych changeling series um and let's get into this blurb a little bit daughter of two ruthless high gradient tele telepaths Auden scott is not the child her psych parents wanted her her, her psych parents wanted or expected well that that's cruel as shit um even before her brain injury her thoughts are scattered her memories fuzzy or just terrifyingly blank the only thing she knows for certain is that she must protect her unborn baby listen to this y'all a baby she has no recollection of conceiving Nalani girl excuse me <laughs> And who draws an unnerving depth of interest from her dead mother's closest associates. It looked like this got a little bit of like mystery thriller vibes going on here too. Which if you read, uh, if you've seen Nalani uh, book, she has now dipped into um, the mystery thriller genre as well. So, hmm okay girl next book is um a seduction of dreams and nightmares by aj Locke. this book was available through netgalley by the author herself yes sometimes you have authors who just um put their books up on netgalley um and people go request and review them i'm one of them um <laughs> not i'm not an author but you get what i'm saying like i'd be one of the readers that be doing that um this is sci-fi fantasy romance okay blurb brief description again y'all they say humans are dreams and feels and fiends are nightmares for though for though fiends have magic beauty and power their immortal lives are restricted vampires must take their bloodlust witches will crumble to dust when their magic runs out god damn um shifting shape-shifting haunts must keep their vicious beasts caged Thank you by and suck you by cannot indulge in carnal pleasures without dire consequences. So basically, I, this is a uh, romantic elements, and um, we have the main character Novari. I didn't read the whole blurb, as I said, and I think this kind of like has like a, a you know the little threesome uh, romantic elements going on there. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Uh, next book is The Kill List by Nadine Masonson. Um, this is book three of her Inspector Angelica Henley thrillers. Uh, this is through Harlequin Traditional uh, Trap Publishing, uh, also under Mystery and Thrillers. And here's our blurb. 25 years ago, DC ha DCI Harry Rhymes arrested Andrew Streeter for the, mur for the brutal murders of five young people. Streeter's kill list of victims was found in his home, and he was convicted of all five crimes. Now, Streeter's convictions, convictions are being overturned. Oh, shit, now. As new evidence implies, the original investigator investigation was corrupt. No one is more shocked than DC than D.I. Henley. But this case is personal. Rhymes was her old boss. Okay, well, girl, what you gonna do? But what drew me into this one is the cover. Like the, just the look in the in the uh in the model's eyes kind of have kind of like that, kind of like that almost kind of like dead look. I was like, oh. Then I read the blurb because I, I told y'all I read the blurbs, and I was like, okay, I I'm very much interested in this. Um, next book is Seven Summers by Paige Toon. God be with me, y'all, because uh, this was another request I received uh, through a publisher, random email that I received. And this is um, by, uh, yeah, I said Paige Toon. And this is um, a romance women's fiction also has new adult elements and that's why i'm sighing because i am not a i am not a fan at all of new adult or young uh young adult books 
but I did what I did and I got to do what I got to do. Let's get into this blurb. Um, Liv and Finn <laughs> meet six summers ago working in a bar on the rugged Cornish coastline. Their future, their future's full of promise. When a night of passion ends in devastatingly tragic, in devastating tragedy, they are bound together inextricably. But Finn's life is in LA with his band and Liv lives in Cornwall with her family. So they make a promise. Finn will return every year and if they are single, they will spend the summer together. So I'm thinking this is going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like a little sweet summer romance. Even though summer ain't no way around us. Like it's gray as hell outside. Why? I ain't seen no sun in weeks, y'all. I don't... Mother Nature is the Mother Nature is not playing with us, and climate control is like I'm. Oh, so y'all don't believe me? Okay, y'all believe in me? Okay. Anyway, next book is The Perfect Sister by Stephanie D. Corliss. This is through Random House Publishing. Another email that I received from the publisher requesting uh, if I wanted to read it. I said yes. This is also under Mystery Thrillers. So as you guys can see, I requested a lot of Mystery Thrillers. I'm, I'm very excited for myself. Um, but anyway, Alice Walker has always looked up to her perfect sister. Maddie has succeeded in all ways Alex has not. She escaped their hometown and seems to have put the memories of their unstable childhood behind, behind her. But despite the different paths their lives have taken, the two sisters... <clears throat> The two sisters made a pact to spend one week together every summer. It was a promise they never broken until now. So, the perfect sister seemed like Maddie. Maddie ain't as perfect as uh, her sister thinks she was or is. Mm -hmm. uh, next book is Isabel in the Rogue by Liana Del Rosa. This is also through Berkeley Publishing Group. This is a uh, interracial romance and also historical romance, as you can see from this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous cover. Because I was like, I'm getting that now. <laughs> when Berkeley sent the list, I was like, yes. Uh, but here is the blurb, a brief description. Isabel Luna Valdez has long since resigned herself to being the forgotten Luna sister, but thanks to familiar connections to the Mexican ambassador in London, Wallflower Isabel is posed to unearth any British intelligence hidden by the ton that might aid Mexico during the French uh, occupation. Oh, we got a little spy thing going on here. Okay. Uh, though she slips easily from crowded, which I read before y'all, but y'all know, I, I, be, I, be, I be getting excited all over again. But the Anyway, though she slips from crowded ballrooms into libraries and private stu studies, Isabel's search is hampered by trysting couples, nasty, um, no, I'm just kidding, and prowling rogues, including the rakish Captain Sirius Dawson. So this should be, this should be a very interesting read. I, I haven't read like a historical rom romance in a while, so it'll be interesting to see where the author goes with this book. I we are hoping it's good, okay? Next book is One Cursed Rose by Rebecca Zanetti. Uh, this is through Kensington Books, and this is sci-fi fantasy romance. And I saw this cover, and I was like, yeah. And I have not read a book by Rebecca Zanetti since I was, like, doing written blogs, child. And I just love the cover. Like, that, all those red roses, and then you got that white off to the side. Love it. Anyway, let's go. Alana, while my name means beauty, beneath that surface is a depth I allow very few to see. I'm sole heir to Aquarius Social, a media giant about to succumb to an unseen enemy. Oh boy, sucky sucky now. Um, my father's solution is to marry me off, of course, always that, um, <laughs> to the son of a competing family. My reaction, not a chance. I know that's right, girl. Now I have just a week before the wedding to change my fate. All right, Rebecca, you better come on with that blurb. Next book is uh, We Came to Walk of You, a novel of suburban horror by Vincent Torado. I, and shout out to my girl, Shades and Pages. She actually tagged me and another friend, uh, well, Anaya, over at Well Read uh, pharmacist 
I will link her site here. She's starting to do written uh, blogging again, like old fashioned written book, book, book blogs again, which we love to see. Um, Y'all go follow her blog um, and support her, okay? And she reads multiple genres of books. But anyway, this book is through William Morrow. This is also, it has queer rep and it is multicultural, interracial or multicultural romance, okay? Kind of like ver blurbs, uh, vibes going on there. But horror, anyway, let's go. Where beauty lies, secrets are held, ugly ones. Sol Reyes has, has had a rough year after a series of workplace incidents at her university lab culminates in a plagiarism ac accusation. Oh shit, girl. Soul is on probation. Dutiful visits to her homophobic father aren't are helping her mental health. I, 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 can, I, I guess not. And she finds her nightly glass of wine becoming an all day and all bottle event. Girl, I understand. Felt. Um, <laughs> Alice Song is far more optimistic. Oh, I'm sorry. Her wife, Alice Song, is, for, is far more optimistic. After all, the two finally managed to buy a house in the beautiful, gated community of Manless Grove. Uh, just, just, it's, there's more to it, but as you guys know. Mm, this should be very interesting. Next book is One and Done by Frederick Smith. This is another request I re re uh, received from the author's publisher to read and review. Uh, this is Queer Romance. And let's get into this blurb. One night of passion and possibly one more chance at love, determined, motivated, goal-ridden, goal-driven, and internally single, Dr. Taylor James is an accomplished university administrator in San Francisco, San Francisco, determined to get his campus successfully through an upcoming accreditation, accreditation process. The process could send him, set him up for his ultimate career goal to be the only black and openly queer university president in the U.S. Taylor gives himself just one day a week to have fun and let loose with friends a one and done sunday fun day brunch at the castro in the castro district yeah. and it goes on to give information on the second main character but i'm very interested in this book we should see how this goes um i'm generally like when i'm reading like queer romances I am more reading, um, you know, women loving women, um, queer, uh, you know, women, uh, queer uh, romances. But I saw this one and I was interested. Plus, my girl Shades and Pages, she was like, just read it because she's a big fan of uh, gay romances. And I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna do it. Well, make male gay romances, and I'm more into like female gay romances, but. This is why we do the podcast together, because we 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 just be we just be helping each other out. <laughs> Next book is Fiasco by Constance Fay. This is through Tour Publishing Group. This is another request that I received from the publisher asking if I wanted to read. This is sci-fi fantasy romance. And let's get into this blurb. S oh, Sibeline Naw is a woman of many names. She she's a generosity she's a, a cultist who never quite fit in she's bella the daughter who failed to save her cousin's life and then there's Tim, the notorious bounty hunter who spaced a ship of slavers that's crazy but um <laughs> she's exhausted lonely and on her and on her very last legs but then a new client offers her a job she can't refuse a bounty on the kidnapper who killed her cousin all Sin has to do is partner with the crew of the Calamity, a scouting vessel she encountered when she was living under a previous alias. One tiny little issue, she's been given an additional bounty, delivering an oh-so-compelling medic, Micah Aurora, to the treacherous Pierce family, or all her identities will be revealed. Well, goddamn, blackmail too? Okay. <laughs> Putting her and strange family in danger. So this should be interesting. I, 
I'm not a big fan of the cover. The cover is kind of like, it's not wooing me at all. But I read the blurb and I was just like, you know what? I like what's going on here. But this cover... Mm -mm. <laughs> Next book is Buried Too Deep um, by Cameron Rose. This is through Berkeley Publishing. This is Romance Suspense, also under Thriller and Mysteries. And let's get into this blurb a, a little bit. Three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. Well, goddamn. That's a way to start off. Um, employed as a nighttime security guard in Broussard, of Broussard Investigations. Oh, Phineas Bishop. I like that. Has been, <laughs> has been working through overwhelming PTSD episodes from his army service while still utilizing his military skills. But when a violent break-in occurs at the office, the accusatory eyes of the NOPD are on Finn and, resolve, and then he resolves to track down the intruder and clear his name. Finn's only lead is Cora Winslow, a, spirit, a spirited library who also needs answers. The body of her father murdered 20 years ago, has just been discovered under a recently demolished building. Who has been sending her handwritten letters, written and signed by her father every year since she was five? Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. Good question. Who, who? And the last book, y'all, is A Werewolf's Guide to Seducing a Vampire by Sarah Hawley. Uh, this is also through Berkeley Publishing. This is sci-fi fantasy romance. More like paranormal, because I always throw um, werewolves and vampires under paranormal. So, we're flex there, Berkeley. But okay. Uh, let's get into this blurb. Um, werewolf Ben Rosen Rosewood is happy with his life 100 percent. everything is fine his business ben's plant emporium is thriving and he's even expanding the shop his his anxiety disorder is well it's been better but but that comes with the territory of running a business and having beastly urges every full moon right as for romance who has the time Though his family is desperate to see him settle, Ben is finally approaching 40 as a single werewolf. But after drunkly bidding on and winning a supposedly possessed crystal on eBay one night, he finds himself face to face with a beautiful yet angry vampire. So I kind of like struggle with um, if I wanted to read this one, but I think I, no, not even I think, I read the blurb like again today and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna give it a go. I, I, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna give it a go. So yeah, that is my list of arcs that I have to get the hell up out of here. Um, I have to get out of my, uh, out of my digital libraries. So I'm going to do Jew me. I'm going to read Jew me twice. Um, and a seduction of nightmares. Um, and then I also have to read Seven Summers because that's actually going to be published next week and I need to get my review over. And Seduction of Dreams and Nightmares, I requested like late. It was already past the uh, the, pub the published date on NetGalley, but I still requested it. I was really shocked that I even still received um, an approval, but I'm gonna get that one up, up out of here. And Cherish's book is not due until July, but again, going by my the dates that I downloaded these books on I'm working my way up so Cherish's book would be literally the one that I need to uh finish first so I'm working on those three books and then I still have podcast books to read but yeah so yeah y'all so how is your ARC journey going? If you are requesting them, um, are you over requesting? Um, and if you are, what are your what are you doing to uh, get yourself um, out of the the mounting of books that you have uh, you know requested and said you want to read and review? What are you doing as a reader? I have a plan, and I'm going to stick to this plan. Um, most of the books that I have actually don't come out until like, you know, late summer, June. 
um, July. So I have some time. So I'm giving myself some time. Um, but yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Are you like me? Have you gotten yourself caught up? And now you got to scrim to get yourself up out of it? <laughs> that is it for me, y'all. Until the next one. Later days. Bye.